to all of you, t you teenagers out there who are starting to uh, uh, reach your late teens, um, a very important hot topic at uh, that age is wisdom teeth. And uh, I'd like to talk to you about wisdom teeth and uh, uh, first of all, w w um, what are wisdom teeth and uh, um, why they need to be removed. Um, so let me uh, um, do a diagram and I'll show you uh, um, uh, where wisdom tooth is located. So um, let's do a diagram of the uh, um, lower arch. So, so here, um, here's your lower jaw and I'm going to draw the jaw out like that. There we go. And this is your, your joint, uh, and just below the joint, um, we have our one molar here, and we have a second molar here. And your wisdom tooth is what we call our third molar. So this is first molar, this is our second molar, and it's the third molar that is going to grow into this position, right into here. So our wisdom tooth usually will start forming underneath here. And um, in our, uh, as, um, as we start to approach our later teens, uh, this tooth will start to come in closer and it'll start to break through um, and come right behind these two molars. Okay, so as, as I had shown you before, the wisdom tooth is the third molar that comes in. Now I'm going to draw another diagram here and let me do kind of a, a flat diagram of the whole lower jaw. There we go. And let's do a diagram of the upper jaw as well. So there's our upper jaw. Upper jaw and our lower jaw. This would be the... Um, right side and this would be the left side. Now basically we have so one wisdom tooth is in this zone right here another wisdom tooth will be back here and then on the top we have a wisdom tooth that forms up here and up here. So there's a total of four wisdom teeth, four wisdom teeth present and uh, these are the teeth that are the third molars that would come in at um, our late teens um, in the range of anywhere from um, 16 to 17 years of age and, and up. Um, now, why, why do we need to have uh, wisdom teeth removed? So um, let me come back. Uh, why uh, do we need our wisdom teeth removed? Uh, if you look at early man, in the time of early man, uh, the jaws were much greater in size. And uh, in those days, uh, we used our jaws a lot more to um, chew, actually, chew the food and break the food down. So with the, the excessive amount of work we needed to do to, uh, to chew and to eat food, our jaws are much larger in size. So we, we had enough room to fit all of our wisdom teeth in. As, we, as man has developed and evolved, uh, our foods, our, our eating habits have changed, our foods have become more refined, um, we don't use uh, our jaws as much as, as they used to use it to, to do a lot of the heavy work of chewing. So our, our jaw sizes have, have gotten smaller. So these wisdom teeth, um, if, if they don't have enough space uh, to grow in, this is where they'll, they'll start to cause problems. Um, the first big problem would be that, you know, when they start to come in, they're, they're pushing. And when they're pushing, it can start to push the other teeth and to start to crowd the other teeth out. So this is where uh, many times as a preventative measure, 
Um, if we don't want to have uh, more crowding on our teeth, uh, we may decide to have our wisdom teeth removed. Um, a second um, a reason for having our wisdom teeth removed um, would be if we get infection. Many times we can get infection around a wisdom tooth, uh, especially the, the flap of tissue that, uh, or gum tissue that will remain on the top of the wisdom tooth um, can end up becoming infected and it can swell up uh, if any food or any other debris gets caught underneath that uh, flap of tissue. Especially if a wisdom tooth is stuck and can't grow in anymore. Um, so let me uh, do another diagram for you and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so let me draw our diagram again of, of our lower jaw. There we go. And then here's our second molar. And then here's our wisdom tooth. So I'm going to draw our wisdom tooth at an angle. So it's kind of stuck now at this position. And... Uh, And here's our gum. Gum is kind of over here. So you can see our gum is, is covering part of the wisdom tooth. Now this wisdom tooth is not going to grow in anymore. It can start to put pressure on these teeth and start to crowd them out. In addition to that, um, this gum tissue, this can become infected. And if any food debris, any, uh, any type of food debris were to um, get caught in here and get caught under the flap, this can end up becoming infected and will end up with swelling. And, you know, this is the most common wisdom tooth emergency is when we end up with infection around an erupting wisdom tooth. So this is why um, a wisdom tooth in this situation would need to be removed. Another reason why wisdom tooth would need to be removed would be that um, sometimes one can have different growths or lesions that would grow around um, a forming wisdom tooth. Um, let me show you again in a diagram. Okay, so coming back to a diagram of the uh, lower jaw. Here we go, and here's our second molar again. And now let's have a wisdom tooth that is still forming underneath all the bone. It's not present in the mouth at all. But sometimes um, what can happen? Um, one can get a growth or a lesion or a cyst, we could call it, um, uh, that would engulf the, uh, the forming wisdom tooth. Uh, it can be a cyst or even there are other types of uh, lesions or cancerous growths that can occur around this area. And uh, this is why it is um, uh, imperative that, um, you know, we do get um, this area examined and checked often, um, you know, ever so often by your dentist. Um, uh, usually they'll do a, um, a scan called a PAN. And uh, that would show, you know, um, if there are any lesions that are forming around this area. So this would, you know, uh, would be um, another uh, uh, important reason for going in and um, uh, evaluating this. And, if, and uh, if it needs to be removed, then uh, one should get it removed. So all in all, if... Uh, if there's enough room in the, uh, your lower jaw and upper jaw to fit the wisdom teeth, then by all means, um, wisdom teeth don't always have to be removed. So if they can erupt in straight with no problems and you're able to keep it clean, um, then there's no reason to remove. But for all of the other reasons I had indicated for removal, it is um, something that uh, really should and must be done if uh, we do run into any problems uh, that I had discussed. Um, so nothing to worry uh, uh, about uh, when you reach that point in your life when you have to have your wisdom teeth removed. Um, there are many ways that um, this can be done in a comfortable uh, way without uh, 
um, you know, without any um, uh, complications.